And the comments of a state lawmaker from St. Clair fueled it even more. Seven investigator Ross Jones has that part of our top story. With the state capitol already shut down due to credible threats of violence, Representative Gary Eisen found a way to raise tensions even higher. Can you assure me that this is going to be a safe day in, in Lansing? Nobody's going to get hurt? No. All right. Uh, I, I, I don't know, because what we're doing today is uncharted. The St. Clair Township Republican made a series of controversial comments during an interview this morning with radio station WPHM. I'm on a football team. We have one more play. Okay. And am I going to just give up or am I going to do that Hail Mary? During the interview, Eisen expressed frustration that the Capitol was shut down on the same day Michigan's electors would meet. A bomb threat phoned in from Wisconsin, so they're going to lock us out of our offices. Yeah. They're going to lock us out of the Capitol. Okay. How convenient is that when they're going to sit electors? Eisen said he planned to be part of an event held today at the Capitol, but when asked more about it, he was coy. And what's that? What event are you uh, planning? What's that again? Uh, what, what event are you referring to? <laughs> It'll be all over the news later on. This sounds dangerous, Gary, I, I, and I'm not kidding it around. Hours after his comments, Eisen released a statement apologizing, saying in part, I wanted to attend today's event to help prevent violence, not promote it. I no longer plan to go to the Capitol with that group today. When we see leaders that instead of using their platform for good and to spread sound information to stoke the flames, it's just completely and wholly irresponsible. And despite that apology, Eisen was still punished for his comments as GOP leadership stripped him of his committee assignments. We're in Lansing tonight. I'm Ross Jones, 7 Action News. All right, thank you so much, Ross.